That'll set it up for Alex Jackson. Struck out as a pinch hitter last night. Ground ball to third. Hampson goes to second on to first. Double play. Ladies and gentlemen, I might have lied. I said we're going to the bottom of the second. We might not be. The Marlins are going to review that call. It was a very close play at first on the back end of the double play. This one clearly in out with Brinson retired. But then on the back side, looks like Alex Jackson may have beat that out. I believe he did. Foot is down. I think we have some more baseball here in the top of the second. We do. They have overturned the call. So Jackson beats it out. Goes as a 5-4 fielder's choice. Charlie is three for three, by the way, against Luzardo. Would you even recognize Charlie if he shaved? He's four for four against Luzardo. He may have a chance at a double. He got He's taking chance. two right now. And you got to take advantage of Alfaro, who's not going to move great in left field. So a leadoff double for Blackman. Charlie gets beat by this pitch. It's up. But with two strikes, he's not afraid to just let the ball get deep on him. He uses the opposite field and right out of the box. He's thinking too. He knows Alfaro's in left. Alfaro tries to cut this off at a very steep angle, bare hand, and flip it over. It made it closer than I thought. Why not go ahead and do it? Now we get another chance to see his arm. Well, he he's going to get behind this, but this is a really long throw. And Diaz read it beautifully. One nothing Colorado great base running Elias Diaz Connor Joe great team at bat Jenny give him a high five he just went by well it's really important it's what the Rockies have been doing of late this is just a, a young player trying to do too much hard to take a deep breath of course but the sentiment is understood this is a ground ball and a diving play by Anderson from his knees and dug out by Aguilar what a play on both ends and he made a gold glove caliber play to end the inning well he certainly did and let's remember there's a runner on second base that ball gets through we're talking about another run for the Rockies fantastic job two steps and a dive into the hole from his knees strong throw and Aguilar great backhand pick at first crazy this is lined to right. Trevor has a 10 game hitting streak. It's an outswing for Trevor. I love it when he goes opposite field. You know that fastball, he takes it off. Oh, now you can take a secondary pitch and drive it later on in the game. Story's in a really, really good spot right now. Well, it's now official. The Rockies have three players riding at least a 10 game hitting streak for the first time. It's a shattered bat. This is going to be a tough chance for Rojas. Not going to get it. So an infield hit for Blackman. And now they're two aboard, no one out. Two on, no one out. And this ball's driven to right center field. Going back is Brinson looking up, and it's off the very top of the wall. Blackman following Story home, and he will score standing up. C.J. Crone again. I'd say he's locked in. All three hits is hitting opposite field to change up, and CJ smashes it into right center. It's high off the barrier. Good read from Charlie. He knows it's not going to be caught. So Brinson setting up, getting his feet ready. And there's a chance he's going to sneak out. CJ Crone is now second in the National League with RBIs at home. It's 43. 2-1, hard shot, pass to Aguilar. And Crow gets a green light. He's coming home, throw on its way. Safe there, safe at second, 4 up in color. Yeah, Joe does a good job. He shoots it off as it feels fastball away. Aguilar doesn't get quite low enough. He's in the right spot, but he just ends up whiffing on it. De La Cruz in right, this is the third throw. He's showing off his arm. The base is heavily populated with Rockies. Rogers at third, Story at second, Crone at first. 3 2 pitch. It's a big pitch for Lazardo. You go back to changeup. Ball four. Diaz draws a walk. Rogers come on down. 5 0. Connor Joe, sack fly, and an RBI single. And right to left field, a base hit. 
Story will score. Crowe coming home. Throw off line. Two more ribbies for Connor Joe. A career high four. Well, I love this approach, Billy. He knows that Pop's going to try to get ahead. It's like a pinch hit at bat, wasn't it? It is. You come up there, all the pressure's on Pop to try to get ahead of you. And as a, as a hitter, it's the easiest place to be in. Another good night for the Rockies offense. Another good night for the Rockies starting pitcher. Gomber five shutout innings. And the Rockies keep tacking on. Swung on and missed. And there's the hat trick for Anderson. It is strikeout number seven tonight for Austin Gomber. One, two, swung on and missed. That's eight strikeouts for Gomber, which matches his career high. Well, he's using all of his pitches. That's a slider at the top of the strike zone. He's locked in. After a tough performance, 2 2. And that is a trio of strikeouts in the sixth inning. Austin Gomber strikes out the side, a career high nine punch outs for the left hander. And Jackson lines the base hit left field. Brinson held up for a second, but he is going to come around third as Joe. Looked like he may have either slipped or went down to slide to cut it off. But either way, Alex Jackson has an RBI and the Marlins are on the board. And Andy lifts one down the right field line. Long run Blackman. That'll fall in fair. Two runs are in for the Marlins. Well, the Marlins try it out themselves. Now going to right, right off the end of the bat. A lot of times you'll see in Coors Field. Balls don't hook and slice the same way they do at sea level. And Alfaro out toward left center field. That is going to get down for a base hit. He's headed toward second. He'll get there. Aguilar scores. Anderson to third. And now it's seven to four. Cut it off the end of the bat just a little bit, but plenty of space in left center field. Diaz flashes the multiple signs and Daniel is ready. One two pitch. And it's in the air to right. Charlie has it and that's the ball game. The Rockies make it two straight over Miami. They're four and one on the homestand. A chance to make it five and one and sweep the Marlins tomorrow.